In a bid to prioritize education in the country as panacea for nation building and development, Labour Party Cardinal Central Senatorial Candidate Right Honorable Mohamed Sani has paid fees for over 160 Cardinal students seeking admission into various high institutions of learning across the country. He says educating citizens, providing quality and good learning environment, guarantee future hope of the nation and younger generations. Plus TV News correspondent Havila Darafai file in this report. Children of the vulnerable orders and those who were able to pay their jam fees were visibly seen receiving support to further their education and their dreams. The Cardinal Central Senatorial Candidate, who was represented by the Director General, Champion Council, Elder Solomon Dambaki, says the gesture came due to the outcry of parents in the constituency who could not afford the registration fees due to the current economic hardship in the country. The DG stated that the humanitarian act came as a result of passions for education, noting that students are not on the address to vote for their candidates. While calling on well-meaning individuals in the state and Nigerians to shun sentiment and vote for credible leaders who can defend their cause when elected into office. Some parents cried out that uh, JAMB is closing and they do not have money to to pay and due to lack of uh, cash or scarcity of cash, we had to transfer to either their accounts directly or the accounts of their parents so that they can meet up uh, with the deadline. It's above 160. Humanitarian uh, gesture, it is not um, a do me, I do you kind of thing. We are not saying that uh, they must vote for us because we we assisted them to pay jam. No, 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 no. Rather, they should go and do well and excel. They are part of the Nigerian youth trying to, to, to see that they come into limelight. The same thing will happen. Nigeria is going to be number one in Africa. One of the parents who could not hide a joy expressed gratitude to the candidate for his benevolence. I don't know how to express it. I feel so good and great. I never knew Nigeria would be something like this. When I had it, I didn't even believe this is the first time, not even only my child now, roughly more than how many children they are here to also participate in this. And we have, have, we have never heard about this before. I believe this is a very good step. This is a good idea. If our leaders can do the same thing like this, I believe our country will be a great country. Some of the older beneficiaries expressed their delight and promised to do well in the academics. MS Brian, for what he did to us. So he really did great for us. Most of us don't have... So we don't have people that can help us or can do something like that for us. So we really appreciate that for us. To achieve our success in our life and to get back to our school so that we can finish our education. I feel happy. I'm excited. At least I'm part of it. I'm a beneficiary of it. I wasn't expect, expecting it. So when I received a call, I was so excited. At least the money I'm supposed to use, at least I'll use it for something else. Because I was looking, looking, I was even looking for the money. I couldn't even have it. So now, when I received the call, I was excited. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.